Hey there, UK DCers. It's this channel's time to do a, uh, a UK Legal Leatherman mod, I guess. Um, I've, I've had I've had this one for a little while and have already done some things to it, but uh, I've been, been doing a fair bit of research and I wasn't happy with this one, so I've bought this one and tried again, uh, which is where we are now, and I'll, I'll go through the journey and my, my reasons and all that lot, so... Um, uh, given that this is a UK legal channel, um, I'm going to be pretty anally retentive about being legal. So, uh, you know, if, if you're not doing all of these things, that might be fine. Um, with that said, I'm also not a lawyer or a legal authority. Uh, neither is pretty much anyone that's doing these videos. So do be aware of that and <laughs> be careful. Um, you know, obviously make up your own mind, that kind of thing. Uh, be happy that you're happy to do it uh, blah 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 legal shit um, but yeah either way not a lawyer not a legal authority just a guess this is a guess on my part that what I've done is fine my conclusions are logical uh, as such I'll be linking all the sources so that you can check for yourself um, and I'm going to be mentioning a lot of citing a lot of sources in this video to try and make heads or tails of this whole situation but yeah, um, UK legal multi tools are uh, there are a couple, uh, but Leatherman are generally considered the best. Um, you know, I, I certainly feel that way. And uh, while they do have the squirt, it is quite small. Um, I do, I do like the proper size multi tools that they do. You know, that are with the three inch blade size. You know, about about this size essentially. Um, so I was definitely looking to get a UK legal one of something in this size from Leatherman. Um, I originally started with this rebar here. Now, um, I started off with this. Uh, I got this and saw that it had knives on it that locked. Uh, this uses a little lever arm locking system, as you can see here on both sides. And the tools all look like this on the inside. And as you can see, they sit on this pivot and they match up with that so this little bit here stops them from being able to close so what you do is you lift that that can now move under there and then that will drop shut about there and then that will keep them like that and then when you want to open it again you will get to there it will push it open it will get to all the way around there and then when it hits there it will drop in and lock it in place now I wanted to keep the knives on this because you know I'm happy to carry knives as you know you're an adult um, so what I did was I got rid of that little that little cutout bit there and as you can see now on this serrated edge that now doesn't need me to go anywhere near that lock bar it just closes what the cat hair Whereas, if uh, one of these tools, which has just presented itself, uh, I guess we'll take this, opens, you can see that it locks, as, as it was intended to do. Um, so, and if I use this as a, a little pointing device, you can see on the back here, on the serrated, the serrated edge here, I've got rid of it on the um, saw blade here I've got rid of it and the rest of these still have that back bit there and same for this side if we go over to this side's tools you can see that this knife here doesn't require me to touch this to lock whereas you know say like this this file here does and as you can see again I've removed that back bit carried this for a little while like that was very happy with it until I sort of realized this uh, now I saw a video by Clarkie's Cutters uh, which was doing a different mod where you just put a little bit of stuff in here go and watch the video it's just interesting enough an interesting take um, I'm not sure I agree with it uh, but you know, like I said, I'm no legal expert, so it's that's up to you. Uh, however, 
uh, this gentleman in the comments mentioned that because you can close the tool like this uh, and then even if you do the mod that I've just done you still cannot close that tool which means that is now staying open which means it's not a slip joint really anymore um i think that's a bit silly but uh, i understand i get it um so as soon as as soon as i read watched that video and read that comment um i sort of checked it out and realized yeah he's probably right actually um uh so i i took all the knives off of this the uh the saw blade as well so that this no longer possibly contravened that law uh, also that gentleman mentioned a test case where uh, the court found that a modified knife would just be called classed as a broken lock knife and therefore still a lock knife um i'm not sure that i'd agree with that i, I can't find that anywhere if you do have a link to that test case please link it and uh, i'll go and have a look at that and who knows maybe i'll have to stop carrying the leatherman i guess but for now so i removed all the knives off of this uh yeah let's hurry this up um uh, the saw blade i was questioning uh, i saw this on reddit on uh i think it's a uh, police uk or uk police or something uh subreddit and uh, this mentioned that the saw blade would probably fall afoul of uh, Criminal Justice Act 1988 Section 139 um, by a you know a verified police constable. So I decided to just stick on the safe side. Removed all the knives off of this. This left this so empty. Like one whole side of this was nothing. It was just a a bar, and then this side was whatever was left. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, I carried it for a little while like that and decided, now nah, I'll put all the tools back on this, we'll get another one and try again. So, to avoid the same issue as I had with the rebar, I specifically chose a Leatherman that opened with the blade outwards, like that. So this way, um, you know, it still closes like that, and you know, if you move these handles around whilst the blade's deployed, it just closes the blade instead of locking it open and look you can see it still just closes there you go um so that solved that big issue the next issue was okay so how am i modifying this to make it uk legal uh the first thing i saw suggested to change the washers around uh i found that on instructors.com and it has you switch the washers around uh, as you can see here there's a big washer here and there's a little washer here that you can't see if you switch them over the lock bar can't get past the big washer and so it can't engage making all of these knives just friction folders um, also a gentleman called uh, scotsman762 has a channel where he's also done a similar one where he just adds a washer instead of swatch switches them around um, however there are some comments on that which i also sort of am inclined to believe where they mention uh, that as it's a non-permanent modification and can be easily reversed which um, i agree with scotsman's you know you'd have to have tools with you and it'd take a minute or a little well, you know a fair few minutes and it's fiddly and you know because to get this apart you need this security bit in there uh, like that and then you need that security bit again in the other side and then you've got to do all sorts of tomfoolery. Um, however, the police did not find it's a satisfactory solution, saying that it's permanent and can be reversed. Therefore, this would still be a locking knife, as the locking blade is in situ. It's just you know temporarily disabled or whatever, but it's still, for all intents and purposes, a lock knife. And I, I can see it, I guess. Um, I don't like it but I can see it so and I've seen it he's got it twice there and I've seen it on a forum as well completely separate of that uh, which I couldn't find the link for again but um, so I decided to go ahead and not do that one I actually did the the hard one and I removed them all 
um, I unscrewed these here, pulled it all out, and these just swing out, revealing. There, you can see where it used to connect there, it's, it's broken off. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, let's... So these are Torx 10 security bits. I guess we're going the other side. There we go. And once you've done that, this is what I mean about the the larger and the smaller washers, which are phosphor bronze, by the way. Um, you can also see that right there is where the lock bar goes. And it's a, it's a nice design. You push down there and then close the blade. It's really elegant, works really well, but does not work with uh, UK law, sadly. So what I did was I got the other Leatherman tool, um, took this off of here so I could get the tool in there and with the pliers, made sure I pinned it right at the bottom and just bent it up and snapped it off. And you've got to make sure you get it right at the base here because otherwise you get a little bit sticking up and that's no good. That will rub against this stuff. I mean, I think this one's even slightly too big, um, but all, all the rest worked out really well. Uh, so that's what I've done there. And this has now become a friction folder uh, for what it's worth. And it works really well. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it is a very great shame that I've had to destroy what was a perfectly functional tool but um, in the interest of actually being able to carry that tool in the UK uh, you know I figured I would actually go ahead and to an extent destroy it how's that just a little bit tighter there we go so that's how I've modified the blade now um I hear you ask, uh, yo, you took out a file. Why did you do the file? Now, that's because um, on the opposite side of that is this saw. And you can switch the saw and the file around. And because of the situation mentioned earlier where just a quick unscrewing of these can sort out that washer, I figured the police might argue that if I left any of these lock bars intact, I could just switch this blade over to the other lock bar. So I just went ahead and got rid of all four of them, so that wouldn't wouldn't even possibly be an argument. So even though this isn't a blade of any description, it's just a file, it doesn't lock either. It's just a friction a friction file, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, this does work quite well. Uh, you know, they're not... They don't go anywhere, they're, they're tight enough. And they can still be open one-handed, so I'm satisfied with them, at least, you know for my, my limited use. Inside is a different story. Now, um, I had to be really careful because this did create the same problem as the rebar because once you close this, any tools that are on the inside, even if you unlock them, can't go back in. So anything with a blade on the inside has to go. So that included a pair of scissors that was here and a this because even though it's really blunt and it's obviously a bloody tin opener um it's pointed i guess this is the only thing that maybe i'd be worried about because of how thin it is but you know if i'm gonna get arrested for that then they're gonna find some reason to you know get me on something else on this so there's no point um if it's gonna get to that pet level of petty uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think I can win no matter what I do. Um, this is just going to get confiscated. Uh, hopefully, um, it doesn't come to that. Um, the only way to really be safe, I think, is to either not carry one, which is rubbish. Remove the knives, scissors, can opener. Like I said, maybe even that mini screwdriver. Uh, you could add keys in place of the knife, like this gentleman here. Um, uh, as for the rebar, um, I did see a knifeless rebar, but uh, multitool.org has this point to say about 
the legality of that, uh, which I sort of agree with. You know, this this mod I actually get to keep the the knives on it. Now, um, that's how I've done this one. I'm happy to carry it like this. Uh, I'm I'm very pleased with this this Leatherman. Um, I do really really like their their plier heads here. You know, these these both have the same one except the the charge has the older rimper or whatever that is at the top. But yeah, these these are these are great um, with the swappable carbides. I, d I did really want this size. Uh, very comfortable as well. Um, this is actually more comfortable than this because of these thin bits here. This has got nice thick ones. Uh, but like I said, your only other real option is a Leatherman Squirt, which is just too small for my purposes, really. Um, I do like the bigger plier head. Uh, I, if you want additional reading, um, I also stumbled upon this in-depth post on Police UK forums, which uh, might help. You know, it goes into a lot of detail. It mentions the case law in regards to why a locking folding knife is illegal, even though the legislation only states folding knife. Um, but you know, it's, it's good to know at least you know where that comes from and why, even though it's not in legislation, it is still considered law. Uh, but my big takeaway from this experience is that it's ultimately just a crapshoot. You know, it's it just depends on how lucky you are. I've seen various anecdotes. A gentleman with a completely locking one saying how a police officer asked him about it and they just had a chat and he let him go on his way because, you know, he was like, whatever, it's a multi-tool, I don't care, um, even though it locked. And how I've seen people that have had these that they've modified and... Like I said, they've said those modifications are temporary, um, not good enough. So I guess, as always with the carrying knives in the UK, it just depends on the police officer that you encounter, uh, as long as you're being illegal in the first place. Um, like I said, I've gone through great lengths to make this, this a legal tool, but whether that's good enough, who knows? Thankfully, uh, I've never ever been stopped by the police in my life, um, so I don't I don't see that happening anytime soon either. So there's that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's unlikely to happen anyway. But if you're in a less fortunate area, like uh, where where there's a much larger police present, like central London, um, it's going to be a much bigger problem for you. Uh, you know, to just have this on your belt or something. Uh, but there you go. Um, Hopefully uh, that's somewhat of an insight into possibly making this, like, like I said, as a non-legal authority, what I think is UK legal, but uh, ultimately it's up to you. Um, if you're worried, I'd just, I guess, go with the Leatherman Squirt or something, or the that SOG uh, legal one, uh, or just take the blades off completely, and then it's just a, a multi-tool. Um, or you could just carry a, a Swiss Army knife, I guess, but... This doesn't really have the pliers on it. But yeah, thanks for watching this horrific 20 minute ramble on not knowing whether I've correctly modified this or not. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I've gone too far or whether you'd bother with this tool, whether you'd carry this or not. Um, this is a, a bit of a hot a hot button topic I've noticed on several channels. So I thought I'd I'd at least share, since I've already done it anyway, share my experience with it. And uh, yeah, drop a comment below. Thank you very much. Cheers.